is Chris Forwish, and today is Friday, July 22nd, I believe, or 21st, 2016, and I'm just going to ramble about my life for a minute here, and say that I'm really, really impressed with how far I've come from what I was to what I am, and uh, I, I want to encourage anybody who thinks that they've got absolutely no chance, no no opportunity, you know, there's no, there's nothing out there for you to consider that that's just complete bullshit, and that there's something for everybody, and that once you find what it is you are here to do, doing it is easy. You know what I mean? Like, when you, when you find something that you're passionate about, that, that means something to you, you evolve. It's like a step up in, in evolution, I, I believe, honestly. I really do. Because people are going from, you know, oh, I could never have such a beautiful woman, and, you know, she, Life just sucks, you know, I, I can't believe I still live with my mom, I'm such a loser, you know, my, my car is ugly, you know, I, I'm fat, you know, you hear stuff like that all the time, but then, you change those, those phrases, you know, the way, the way that you say things, the way you see the world, and you say things like, oh, that woman, that, that beautiful girl there would definitely be interested in me, because I, I, uh, I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an uplifting person, I'm, I'm, I take care of myself, you know, I, uh, I'm conscious of my, my situation, and I'm working to, to uh, improve it daily, you know, and you, you use uh, positive statements as uh, affirmations throughout the day, rather than just rambling through life and uh, wasting your time, you know, um, I think it's very important to to make the most of everything you've got. I seriously believe that we are here to do incredible things. Not one person here was born to be average. That you, who are listening to this, was uh, was born for amazing things. You know, people look at people like uh, Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, Michael Jordan, oh, Tiger Woods, all these people who um, are doing incredible things in sports alone. And, uh, people see them as, like, superhuman, you know, like, the, like, they're, uh, like, they're on a realm that can't be touched. And while some of that is true, that's just because they have continued to evolve their thinking to where there are no limits. You know, once you get past the, the, the realization that limits only exist in your mind, then, uh, the whole world opens up. And it's amazing for me because... Even as I'm telling you this, you know, I'm seeing these project ideas I've got in my head and uh, invention ideas now and just things that are finally coming to life and it's finally happening. I seriously think that um, we, we uh, are so conditioned to letting go of our full of our potential that nothing, I mean absolutely nothing, will sway us from being average. I think that a lot of the time, we, we believe that we don't deserve anything more, that we, we are, uh, lame, that we're, you know, we're, we're just, we're just middle class, you know, we're just lower class, no big deal. I think that is such crap. I think that that's completely unacceptable, and that we were destined for greatness. You, me, everybody. What is greatness? Well, I mean, you know, for others, some people think that greatness for them, and they're they're very right when they do so. But you know, to some, greatness is having the eleven bedroom house on the hill, and you know, the option of three or four different vehicles. You know, or uh, you know, some people want to be completely free of all that. You know, some people want to have no possessions, you know, other than like a bike and a backpack and some clothes, you know, things like that. There are some people who are on that complete opposite end of the spectrum. 
but what they can still achieve is great, you know? Um, incredible things come from the human spirit, as you know, and I know, when, you know, we've seen in tons and tons of books and movies and, you know, stuff like that. It's just, it's amazing to triumph with the human spirit and what we are truly capable of. And if you look at the people who are succeeding and doing well in life, you see that they are human beings just like us. And they have just conquered their thinking. That they have they have decided, you know what? Average isn't gonna work for me. I, I refuse to be normal. Normal is boring. You know. I'm I'm incredibly excited about an amazing life that I can create. You know, I say things like this to myself all throughout the day and even today as I go into work. I'm gonna be running these lines through the back of my head saying, you know, I am amazing. I, I'm I'm capable of anything. My family deserves the best so they're gonna get it. Um, you know, I, I don't stop. I don't stop growing just because I'm moving in a different direction or, you know, doing it or uh, occupied by a certain task. You know, I'm constantly, constantly evolving my state of mind. I'm constantly pushing others to, to think beyond the borders, you know, um, to, to think without borders. You know, and to just be open and respectful, loving, you know, unique and true, and to not waste this precious, and I mean absolutely precious, irreplaceable, beautiful time that we have here. So many people are stuck in a cycle where they're miserable, and they hate their family, you know, they, ugh, it's just disgusting. And we have so much more potential than this. I think we have so much more beauty and power inside us. And I think it's up to us to to tap into that and use it, work with it, you know, play with it. And to con encourage others to do the same thing. Because, you know, inside each of us is, is an unlimited spirit, you know, that's just full of great potential and amazing things to happen. So, uh, you guys take that to heart and let's make it happen today. Thank you.